Hello again folks and welcome. Today we're going to look at some of the frames that have fallen off from usage, or the power level of the game has pushed them away from being used as much as they used to be. These are frames that I believe DE really needs to look into reworking, or create scenarios where their skill set would be more valuable. Let's get started with our number 7. Valbon ekes onto this list not because he got worse, but because the game changed forgot to tell him to come along. Sure, his Tesla can be fun when you place him on an enemy's back, but it falls off in later levels and generally doesn't see much use like half of his grenades. Where Valbon shines is his mass crowd control ability with his Bastille and Vortex. In fact, Valbon is all about crowd control, but that's the problem. Warframe has been implementing modes that favor damage over CC like Eidolon hunting and Onslaught. What's going to make Valbon great again is not so much changing him, but bringing in modes that favor CC over damage. Which I hope they do in the future because Valbon is just really good at it. Our number 6 is the newest frame in the game. Given the amount of time it took to release her, you'd think they would have gotten this right. Cora suffers from a bit of identity crisis. She a damage frame, CC frame, a crazy cat lady? Now she's a bit of all them at once with the ability to dish out a shit ton of damage with her whip claw being the one shining factor. Strangle Dome is a little goofy with how it sets up and with enemies swinging all over the place. Couple that with the fact that once enemies realize they can just shoot through it, being inside isn't really that safe. Her Venari behaves just as you would expect from bringing a cat to a fight. It's going to do whatever the hell it wants, which most of the time is nothing. The healing it could provide is the most useful, but still not very consistent. If that damned cat got fixed, that alone would probably take her off this list. This next one pains me a bit, but Nyx lands at number 5. Problem with Nyx is that nothing changed with her, but unlike Valbon, other frames just started doing her job better. Her mind control is still useful, but not in the places where you need damage, though I have to admit that it's funny as hell casting it on Stalker. Her psychic bolts are pretty useless, and you will never see anyone use them. Her absorb is still good in a few certain situations, but the damage and radius could certainly use a buff. Nyx's biggest problem, along with her terrible 2, is her mass CC ability, which is chaos. It's not really CC because enemies can still shoot you and your teammates. Digital Extreme showing off the newest Warframe which does her ability only better certainly doesn't help her cause. It's sad because I really like her, and if DE just put some serious work into her 2 and 3, I believe Nyx could be sitting pretty good. Alright, and coming in at number 4 is Ember, who used to be every new player's wet dream. She had problems with her kid, but she still had World on Fire, and frankly, that's all that really mattered. Well, that got nerfed to the point where it made her augment damn near useless at higher levels. I'm all for changing ability to make it more fun and less lazy, but when you do that and don't do anything to get the rest of her kid up to snuff, yeah, people aren't going to like that. Her accelerant is decent CC, but... Damn, the rest of her kit just sucks. And as it stands now, Ember is really only good for low and mid-tier missions. Her prime looks pretty, but that's all she's really got going for right now. She needs some serious work. What used to be a damn near 10 out of 10 comes crashing down at number 3. When Gara, 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 whatever. When Gara came out, Frost was damn near out of a job. That has since changed and highlighted the problems she has with the rest of her kit. Her Shattered Lash is only useful for leveling and breaking her mass vitrify wall. But since her nerf, enemies can now do that for you quite easily, so why bother? Her Spectre Rage does not seem to work properly, which leaves you with Splinter Storm. This actually happens to be the one good ability she has that could be cast on herself in an ally or defense target. I doubt her mass vitrify will return to its former glory, but it should be buffed to the point where someone would have a harder decision choosing between Gera or Frost. Aside from the extremely niche use of babysitting a sortie defense target, Gera does not have a place in the game above anyone else. What came out broken, sadly, remains broken. 
Tanya fills the number two spot on this list. Aside from the niche use of murdering Raptor, I have a hard time justifying any reason to bring her to missions other than I actually like her and that you can make her look really good. She has a good augment now with the Razor Wing Blitz, which allows you to deal a lot of damage, but it is still hampered by those stupid arc wing controls. How the hell can she be that small and have less maneuverability? You couple that with her lantern, which only works what it feels like it, and the enemy lantern floating off into space because someone bumped into it. Titania is a bit of a mess, and I'm not even sure the developers are giving her any attention. Which finally brings us to our number one worst frame, Mesa. Just kidding. It should come as a shock to absolutely no one that the number one spot belongs to Wukong. Just like an MK1 weapon, his only use now is for leveling. Like others on this list, he has just been forgotten about. Wukong used to be a tank frame with his defy ability, but other frames just got better at not dying. Chroma can refresh his abilities, Anaro's got a great augment, and Rhino is... is just Rhino. His other abilities just don't do much, and certainly not nearly as much as the other tank frames. Therefore, Wukong is Mr. Irrelevant, and I don't think he'll be worked on anytime soon since he is just a frame everyone gets from the dojo. Are there others that belong on this list, or someone you think should not be on this list? Leave a comment below and tell me what you think. And don't forget to like and subscribe so I can bring you more videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care.